All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a match between Fly versus Infi. This take this game taking place here on Amazonia, and well, to make things more difficult for me, it is both players have chosen random, and both players have gotten orc. So no easy way for me to actually tell which player is which. I believe Fly is spawning over here on the bottom left hand side of the map as the blue orc player. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have Infi, I believe, spawning as the red orc player. Now, if they are both blade masters, my apologies. It is very difficult to track um, a wind walking blade master when there are no observers. Um, still, work. one of the things that I actually absolutely dread in an orc mirror match, if both players go for um, go for that blade master, making it nearly impossible to figure out what is going on. Now, we are building up a couple of buildings, pretty standard so far, as we're looking at all of these buildings being placed down. Um, no specific build orders are... Let's take a look. It's going to be Farseer, okay, coming in against Farseer. All right, so Farseer versus Farseer in this mirror match. And, well, the idea that the Blade Master escaping at 15 hit points will be Infi is not going to work at all because, well, it is going to be Farseer versus Farseer. So by process of elimination, no Blade Master will ever be placed down. Ready to work. We are now looking at, well, Orc Burrow coming into play from one side. Orc Meanwhile, a Voodoo Lounge coming in from the next. It looks like we may be trying to get a larger earlier army early on here. I don't see a War Mill, though. So no War Mill means that it isn't going to be Headhunters as of yet. No Headhunters. Um, during the early stages, perhaps some early grunts as they are going to be trained. There is that first grunt being trained in by Envy. Meanwhile, we are looking at a blue grunt being changed and um, trained up by Fly. Farseer already moving out, summons up some spirit wolves. Gonna go ahead and try and do a little bit of creeping. Are we gonna get lightning shield? There you go, lightning shield as the Farseer now makes its way over, getting in some damage. That grunt needs to back away. As you can take a look, those rogues in the back are taking quite a bit of damage, but so is that renegade wizard right there as it's trying to well, shift its position. And that Farseer doing a great job clearing out all of these creep camps here. Rogue going to get taken down, followed by this last rogue as well. There it goes. Healing salve should be used up, but it was not ever trained or a little bit delayed. Meanwhile, back across over here, we can see that, um, well, Fly is doing the same thing. Or perhaps this is Infi. Um, based on the timing, the build order here was he knew that the... That he needed he did not need this one voodoo lounge being undone or built that quickly early on farseer is going to get up to level two here pick up that slippers of agility come on pick up the slippers of agility and then perhaps pick up double healing salves and then make his rounds out both sides have not really scouted each other as of yet spirit wolves are going to spot each other and there you go there's a little bit of damage coming back across as it is level two spirit wolf versus level two spirit wolf grunt taking quite a bit of damage but this farseer is very low on life and cannot afford to take those lightning blasts from the opposing farseer on top of that it looks like unit control or formation movement was currently being used not allowing the farseer to get away easily Meanwhile, back down to the other side here, we are looking at, um, well, a war mill being placed down and now double spirit wolves trying to get in some harassment, but not going to get very far as the orc peons inside those spears more than enough to handle and take care of all of those units there. All right, a new round of spirit wolves have made their way out across Farseer using up that healing salve as things are heading back. Farseer mirror tasty, yep. As the Farce here heading back off to the north. Metaphysics, RW is is Infi or is Fly, right? Just trying to double check here. There is a great use of that Lightning Shield there. Lightning Shield actually dealing more damage than all of the units combined right now. As the Renegade Wizard going to show up. There's the Chain Lightning for the steal. As we're looking at the Farce here picking up the item there. However, he is taking a, quite a bit of damage. Is he going to be able to escape? Already down to 91 hit points. Being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal. There's a Chain Lightning to bounce around as well. As there it goes. Um, as far as now, RW always equals fly. Um, all right, that's what I thought as well. Um, all right, so in comes the engagement again. Farsi are going to get to level three. Beautiful lightning, lightning, um, um, chain lightning steel right there. I mean, what would have been even better? I don't even know if it's possible. The Farsi cast chain lightning. It hits the first target. 
and then the scroll of town portal goes through and as they land it bounces around and the follow-up kills another target as we look at a fire lord as the second hero all right so fly going for the fire lord as the second hero and that is not your typical hero choice whatsoever um i guess this would be a good time for metaphysics to double check if fly does have a fire lord as a second hero or if it's infi oh yeah or if fly is trying to out infi infi yeah this, this is really part of my head scratching moment normally infi is the one with the strange heroes as we're looking at the lava spawn joining in on the fight here all right, Lava Spot. I'm going to go ahead and try and finish off some more units. Um, are we going to see Gloves of Haste? Gloves of Haste being picked up by that, uh, well, by that Fire Lord. A faster attack speed. It does help just a little bit as we're going to see the Lava Spawns now split. All right, so three Lava Spots out in the middle of the field. We are looking at Spirit Wolves. Going to get, uh, well, going in for damage against that Shaman. Or not the, sh yeah. Yep, the one with the f uh, f uh, the one with RW is fly. Perfect. Thank you very much. As the lava spawns here, well, um, one of them not really, um, really all of that gr all that great. As we're looking at that headhunter, just trying to escape, is going to get one more shot off. One spirit wolf damage yes, yes. shot should be able to do exactly that. No, it needed two, and it will it get in the kill? Yes, it does. As the spirit wolf does get taken down. All right, Fly coming in with the damage. However, Lava Spawns, well, that was a little bit of a waste right there as that Lava Spawn didn't really do that much damage and the other Lava Spawns did in fact split. Probably wishes that he had 150 mana more as the units are retreating back once again. Farseer sitting at level 2, far, and both far, Farseer and Fire Lord sitting at level 2, going up against a level 3 Farseer and a level 1 Shadow Hunter. Engagement now getting underway. That Lava Spawn well, melts into nothingness as the, lava, as the Fire Lord here trying to fight back once more. All right, we are looking at... Um, we're looking at a little bit of damage being dealt back across here. We're, well, perhaps a healing wave now bouncing around. So healing wave and chain lightning going up against, well, Farseer sitting at level 2 and that Fire Lord sitting at level 2. Are they going to be able to really put any pressure down as the Spirit Wolves just run past once more? Without a Demolisher in play, it is going to be difficult to really deal any damage with those, uh, well, Headhunters and also those on Lava Spawns. Lava Spawns not going to be doing that much there. An easy, easy kill for the Fire Lord and that farseer as they were ensnared down so a little bit of unlucky break chain lightning coming back across there goes another a spirit wolf or another grunt again so losing two grunts already farseer now trying to go after those remaining units scroll of speed now trying to be used there goes some more units as well spirit wolf trying to be resummoned as the farseer gets chain lightning and gets taken down all right and well pretty much returning the favor with interest taking down a Farseer, a level 3 Farseer, and getting up to level 3 himself as Fly is now chasing Infi back to his respective corner. All right, damage getting added in. It looks like a Shaman going to get taken out as well as that explosive damage coming across Fire Lord. Very much low on, um, low on mana as you see another explosion come across again. All right, the Fire Lord with that auto attack ability causing even more damage still as it that incinerate is just, well, making him just hide in the back. That damage does get very high indeed as that Shadow Hunter is sitting at level 2. We are going to be going into level 1 Serpent Ward now as the units are engaging back and forth. There goes that Altar of Storms. No Altar of Storms for any more resurrection as the Fire Lord is just putting in pressure once again. Fire Lord, Lava Spawn, is it going to split? Oh, no, it is not going to split. It was in process, but the well, Lava Spawn was a bit too far forward, taking damage. And, well, nicely done by Infi to make sure that that Lava Spawn did not get a second chance on life. Two unlucky ensnares, sappers used. Um, thank you for all of that information as well as we're still seeing more engagement getting underway. Back down to the south here. Two headhunters going up against the Farseer. Farseer was resurrected at the tavern, and now now they are attempting to retreat back. Meanwhile, units are still engaging again, as we need to see more Orc Burrows coming in from um, Fly in order to be able to fight back. It is 39 supply compared to 34, so only a slight advantage right now. But at the same time, the Farseer is low on hit points and mana. May not be able to do all too much as the Farseer now looking to engage here. All right. Oh, units now going to try to retreat once more. Serpent Ward going to be able to perhaps get down a Headhunter or two down to 82 hit points. Shadow Hunter is doing a lot of chasing. Shaman are not using Purge um, for some strange reason. There's a Purge onto that one unit right there as the Shadow Hunter finishes off one, two troll Headhunters. 
back at home well back into his respective corner fly is now going to be rebuilding his army sitting at 39 supply compared to 36 this is even more micro intensive than standard orc mirror definitely so as the fire lord will want to use that replenishment potion but i believe he did he use it no gonna give it to the farseer after this creep camp is cleared up there you go gonna ho go ahead and use that there getting hit points and mana all right level three soon to be level three shadow hunter i believe no nope, farseer may be taking a little bit too much experience and, but overall hero levels are pretty even shadow hunter getting closer and closer to level three i believe this Sh farseer is going to try and back away the shadow hunter is going to get level three right there also picks up a squirrel of healing to try and counteract any crazy chain lightning shenanigans level two incinerate over level um, two lava spawns so we are at 3-3, three, three, almost at 4-3 there as a quick purge comes across to get in a little bit more experience as well. Farseer is just right there trying to get in a nice, good chain lightning, but unable to do exactly that as the engagement is now getting underway. Who's getting attacked by the creeps? Not, that may be the important part right there as we see a couple of purges remove those of spirit wolves. All right, both sides having level two spirit wolves, both sides having access to shamans, which will purge them down into nothingness, just giving experience to the other side. Engagement now coming back across level three, level three Farseer now trying to move back up to the top right. More damage coming across here as, a as the Fire Lord easily picking off some of those back units once again. Spirit Wolves going to come back around. Are we going to see some more purging? There's purge one, purge two as well. As well, there goes a couple of headhunters. All right, Farseer now having access to Chain Lightning level two. Is he going to wait to try and bounce some damage around? There goes some Spirit Wolves. There's that Chain Lightning bouncing, but some of them actually hitting Spirit Wolves, not where he wanted the damage landing at all. As as the headhunter well gets just blown up in his place fire lord with incinerate actually very scary uh, adding on the fact that there's gloves of haste the fire lord is attacking rather quickly and to make things even more confusing the fire lord is another agility based hero yeah i don't quite get it either why the fire lord is agility based I, i've never seen a fast moving piece of molten lava but then again it's magic Farseer kind of trying to engage, go after some of those uh, what shaman in the back back line. Meanwhile, headhunters are poking down some other units as well. There is still a couple of grunts. Level four now on that Farseer. Are we going to be getting level two chain lightning as well? Yes, we are. As we see a couple of um, grunts going deep inside, going after unit after unit. All right, headhunter trying to focus down some units. Shamans are just getting torn apart in the back as the fire lord with incinerate is just trying to blow up units and and gonna make it easily done. There you go. There's a little bit more damage again as more well scroll of speed being used one unlucky headhunter not getting that bonus shadow hunter now trying to back away level four level three going up against four three again both sides just wondering who's going to be able to clear out this last renegade wizard creep camp as the units well try and retreat once more heavy harassment throughout this match no one really having the opportunity and time to uh, get the gameplay that they really want as the witch doctors are now joining in on the fight at not even adept training as of yet farseer gonna try and engage headhunters just with all of that piercing damage we are only at stronghold not at fortress so we're never going to be getting into those tr uh, those troll uh, berserkers or the berserkers at all as the units are now well retreating back again headhunter trying to get healed back up it doesn't look like it's going to work there it goes a little bit more damage once again as the incinerate incinerate debuff applied to all right 538 hit points i believe incinerate does a, a, a explosion damage on death based upon the amount of hit points that that player has the symbol of agility is a foot to the to two and the fire lord has zero of them warcraft is weird sometimes yes it is love warcraft 3 thank you for the follow lightning shield now cleaning up some more items here or units here meanwhile back to the bottom left orc burrows do not have the fortified armor upgrade so the headhunters may actually be able to deal a good amount of damage here causing a little bit of, of well supply blocking we're looking at 45 over 40 supply now witch doctor is also here units are now just trying to walk all the way back shamans are trying to retreat but orc pearls also give experience so not only is it going to be and end up a little bit devastating in terms of 
in terms of just not being able to train up any units, his opponent is not going to, or his opponent's also gaining a good amount of experience. Spirit Wolf is now going to be going after here. And is Infi going to just go ahead and ignore his base? That is the question. Now retreating all the way back home. There's that Scroll of Town Portal. Units are going to perhaps try and retreat back. Fire Lord does not have a Scroll of Town Portal, only has double Scrolls of Healing, which, well, is effective as well. Units are now trying to retreat back once more. There goes an incinerate blow up as another Grunt going to go ahead and explode as well. Good micro coming in from Infi making sure that the incinerate blow up is not causing damage to his own units as you can take a look all of these well the voodoo lounge now absorbing quite a bit of damage orc burrows firing back finishing off a couple of shaman here 37 supply compared to 41 over 10 fly needs to finish off his opponent here since he's not going to be able to train up any additional units and the fortress is now done but fortress has not really converted into anything as of yet just sunk gold costs with no real payoff all right, Fire Lord still putting in the pressure. Meanwhile, back down over here, it looks like multiple peons were taken down. No more mining. So this is the last push for all the marbles. 39, 39 supply compared to 37. 28 supply army compared to 30. Who has the advantage here? And Fly knows that he needs a push here. Otherwise, he's just going to end up losing. The Headhunters are dealing a lot of damage. Both um, Scrolls of Healing are gone off of the Fire Lord. The Nafarseer still has one more. There's a Lightning Shield. And that one Lightning Shield onto that Headhunter was absolutely perfect. But it was still being dispelled. All right, new Voodoo Lounge being built. Head of Orc Burrows are firing back here. This Voodoo Lounge going to get canceled. Peon going to perhaps get try and get taken down here as the Healing Wave still bouncing around Shadowhunter now with no easy way to heal back up any further. All right, Orc Burrow damage coming back across. Farseer has used up that Orc, uh, that Scroll of Healing. Lightning Shield may end up getting taken down. There goes one um, well, Headhunter again as the Headhunters are just trying to engage. Is this Headhunter going to just try to dive on in saying hi? I'm your fellow brother and just let me stand next to you. Damage getting added up more and more. All right, more repairs underway on these Orc Burrows. Purge onto the level three Spirit Wolves there. More damage getting added in. 20, 39 supply compared to 29. And I think Infi may be able to hold onto this. The Orc Burrow advantage is just far too much. Back home, we still do not have that any mining whatsoever. And that is it. Infi comes away with the victory. Infi... Um, making the correct choice, not going back home. I thought it was going to be very bad news at the end um, of that game. Um, well, pretty much fl uh, fly, uh, fly being able to... Wait, ho wait, wait, hold on. Fly loses. Fly loses that game. Infi wins. Infi was on the top right. Yes, okay, so... Um, Infi was able to put pressure on to the Orc Burrows, take them all down. Um, Fly thought, you know what, uh, let me just try to do the same. He was not able to um, put nearly as much damage. The Orc Burrows and, and, well, especially the Serpent Wards also adding in plenty of coverage or cover with that piercing damage. On top of that, it really came down to a war of attrition. Who had more healing items? Even though Infi, um, oh, excuse me, even though Fly um, had triple scrolls of healing, Infi was the one who had that Shadow Hunter and was able to get mana onto him. The healing, the healing wave was able to target the specific unit that had taken the most amount of damage and regenerate some of those precious, precious hit points and then bouncing around in the end. Anyway, um, in the end, that was the that was the main difference right there. Also. Infi um, using or making sure that the incinerate didn't deal nearly as much damage by moving the affected unit away from the battle so the explosion w was not nearly that detrimental. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.